So you're thinking about moving to Huntington Beach and you may Surf City, USA. Surf City, USA. And you may be wondering, you may be confused, you may be wondering, you know, what areas of this city. It's a big city, so you may be wondering what areas are right for you. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get out the map and we're going to talk about all the different areas of Huntington Beach. So we're going to tell you some of the things that you're going to like and most important, we're going to tell you about some things that you're going to hate. That you're going to be able to eliminate maybe some spots that you don't like. So that's what we're going to do in this video, so stay tuned. What's up everybody, I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, wow, I love Orange County. I love the glitz. I love the glamour. I love the weather. I want to pack, up, pack up my bags. I want to move out there now. But the problem is you're like, going, well, where do I start? And I totally get that. And as a lifelong local, I was born and raised here. I know Orange County like the back of my hand. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the subscribe button and you want to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. But you're probably also thinking, Okay, I don't even know where to start. I'm out of the area, I'm not local, I'm out of state, I may be out of the country. So like, I'm overwhelmed, I don't even know where to start. And I totally get that too. And that's why you wanna reach out to me because I will personally make sure that me and my team help you find that perfect property for you. So what you wanna do is you wanna give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you wanna get a hold of us, we've got your back. So here we are, we're in Orange County, California. Uh, well, this is Southern California, and now we're zooming in on Orange County. There's Orange County right here. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And it's amazing how much like lush forest there is <laughs> right there. <laughs> Sean's being facetious. That's, uh, that's grass, uh, brown grass. I don't know why they put it as green. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so, what, you want to click on Huntington Beach? Yes, so here we are. We're rolling to Huntington Beach. Actually, let's zoom back though a little bit, I think, because I kind of want to give people an idea of where Huntington Beach is in proximity to everything else in Orange County. So, uh, Huntington Beach here. Okay, so Huntington Beach is right here. So, it's right off of, it kind of hugs, it's kind of like between the one freeway, which is Pacific Coast Highway, mm -hmm. and also it's along the 405 freeway right here. So, that's one of the major arteries in all of Southern California. And also notice that Huntington is rather large. So you could live on the coast of, in Huntington and it can take a decent amount of time to get from the 405 to your house because it is a big city. Now what people do like about Huntington Beach actually, in fact, um, my sister, because they do a lot of work, uh, her and her husband do a lot of work actually in LA is that they do like Huntington Beach because it is at least closer proximity. It's only one small city over from LA County right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so the city kind of, above it, that's Seal yeah, Beach. Yeah, so like this is more or less the county line right here. And so that gets you into LA. And again, so it's really easy to get to LA from here. Because yeah, this, this little spot right here, this is Seal Beach. And it's, again, it's just a, it's a, it's a small it's smaller, city. smaller, yeah. Yeah, so they do a lot of work in LA. And so they like Huntington Beach because they've obviously, you know, wondered, as, you know, if Newport Beach makes sense to them for whatever. But because of what they do, Huntington Beach, one, is a great city. But two, its proximity to L.A. is really, really beneficial. Yeah. And then, so basically, so as we're kind of zooming into Huntington Beach, so you'll, yeah, you'll see that it's a pretty wide city. So, like, there's a nice little stretch here between... Uh, you know, the 405 freeway and the coast. Mm -hmm. And so that's where, like, you know, for instance, like this is Beach Boulevard right here. This is a big, like this is a major artery in Huntington Beach right here. So when you exit on the 405 freeway, it's several miles. Like, yeah. <laughs> it takes you a while to actually get to mm -hmm. the beach from for the 405 freeway. Yeah. For example, I actually did the Huntington Beach Marathon, and I don't think we ever went out of Huntington Beach. So it's it's just like a big city. So even when you're going 26 miles on a run, it, you can easily stay within the city limits. Yeah, and I guess I guess we could start with the south the the south part of Huntington Beach. I guess as an idea. So this is where it starts to border. So this is the Santa Ana River. Okay. <laughs> This is no Mississippi River. Let's just, this is more just ushering it's, it's a, rainwater out so it doesn't yeah. flood everything. So it's a drainage ditch. Yeah. <laughs> and, and actually, it's surprising. There's a lot of people that like to surf during times uh, of rain here. Don't necessarily recommend it because that's yeah. a lot of 
contamination that takes place. Yeah, it's place. a lot of runoff. And even if they do surf, they almost always get sick from it. So I would not recommend that. But having said that, people do kind of yeah. enjoy that whole surf thing right there <laughs> after. Rain. I'm not a big fan of it. but no. And you do have nice bike paths along here too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, but as we're kind of saying, like, so it's kind of interesting to see here. So when you're actually in Huntington Beach, like what I like about it is that these these beaches are absolutely amazing. I mean, yeah. just amazing coastline. Let's see if this actually does us anything here. So you can kind of see. I, I mean, I, we're just kind of borrowing well, from I'll, this. Well, I'll, I'll put a clip in. Oh, yeah, I mean, actually, okay. So I mean, you can kind of see it's just wide beaches. Yeah, just huge. You know, sometimes I don't know uh, where you're watching from, but you may be watching from the East Coast, and some of the beaches on the East Coast can be rather small. It's just a small sliver of sand. That is not how it is. Uh, in Orange County, and specifically not in Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach is just huge swath of beach, super wide. Like this, yeah. like these beach, these beaches are very impressive. And there's a nice little boardwalk that kind of, you know, I used to go on runs in Huntington Beach, and you take this boardwalk along, you know, along the beach here. Mm-hmm. Really cool. And it, and as far as parking goes, you have a lot of it. These are state beaches. These aren't actual technically. Um, like city, city. Yeah. so you actually have these so as far as parking goes there's a lot of you know just par- st- like these parking lots that are more again you pay for the day or something like that mm-hmm. and then as yeah. we're run- running north you know like kind of northwest i guess uh i would say like probably one of the major okay then you have the bolsa chica wetlands so these are pretty cool too so like, these are like just natural like nature preserve kind of things mm-hmm. and again like, it's a it's a the residents of huntington beach uh are very protective of the bolsa chica wetlands yes and these, this actually, this kind of runs, uh, and you'll actually see this kind of runs a bit like, like it's a kind of a, a feature along the Huntington Coast here. And yeah, you even have even more dramatic. Yeah, this is actually, this is technically Bolts of Chica, actually. So this is pretty dramatic. This is, again, for birds and for natural wildlife and that kind of thing. And then, um, and then let's go farther back. So we're kind of heading back this way. Let's go back to the normal layers. And then uh, what's cool here is that okay, so as you're running down PCH, one you're gonna if you're looking for sites to behold, you can see really cool cars rolling down PCH. I mean, how many Corvettes and Lamborghinis did our son see like the other day when we were mm-hmm. in in Huntington Beach along P- Pacific Coast Highway? Yes, that's true. And then okay, well one I guess since we're moving up the coastline, I guess we can talk about Edison High School, a really good school, highly ranked school here. It's a great high school um, right there. Yeah, according to Niche.com. Yes. And then as we're going a little bit farther north, okay, Beach Boulevard, can we kind of alluded to earlier, this is a major, major artery. And I will say that the Huntington Beach actually has several major arteries here. Beach Boulevard being the, the biggest one, but you also have Brookhurst, you also have Magnolia, you also have uh, Edwards and Golden West. So you have a bunch of different, like a bunch of streets here and Warner as well that that fe- like feed into the beach area mm-hmm. yeah and then but beach boulevard itself this is like your, i would say your main retail corridor this mm-hmm. is where you're gonna have lots of shops grocery stores uh and just a bunch of different things like if you're looking for shopping this is your place this beach boulevard corridor is is your spot Mm-hmm, for sure. And then, um, and then actually, as we go a little bit before, actually, and if we're kind of going here, so one, you'll see you have a Walmart here, you have in and out here, of course, and that's a big deal. And then also, like, actually, this is a Costco. Of course, we know we love me some Costco. And this is where the, the, the Beach Boulevard and the 405 Freeway intersect. And Bella Terra is this nice shopping mall, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's, and again, yeah, you have, Target, you have everything along here. Lowe's, Home, Home Depot, you got all this stuff. Should we talk about Golden West College since we're already... Oh, if we're going up here? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, we're, gonna go, we're, gonna, sorry, we're, gonna go, we're not going to go necessarily nice little chronological or anything like that. So we're just going to keep going with what kind of comes to mind. So Golden West College is a highly ranked uh, community, community college, college. Yes. And it's right off of the 405 freeway. Mm-hmm. Yes, and we have friends that are alumni. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and actually, and, and we will say, like, speaking of schools, Huntington Beach, I, it's surprising. There's a ton of really good schools. Like, so many of their schools, according to Niche.com, rank super high. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of one of those. You don't think of a beach city having good schools. Yeah. But from, you know, from, you know, from elementary school all the way through high school, really good schools. Mm-hmm. For sure. 
Should we talk about Central Park? I was, that's what I was looking at, too. Yeah. So, Central Park, this is a nice size park. This is large. I mean, yeah, actually, it's, it's huge. When we, when Courtney and I used to go to UC Irvine, we actually would have our cross country races. Our home race, our home course was actually at Central Park West mm-hmm. yeah. or Central Park East. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's big. There's lots of sports fields there. There's lots of you know playgrounds, water there, features, water features. We actually a huge library is actually there too. Like one of the largest libraries for children. I think you know that. Oh yeah, I think it is the largest library for west children of Missis- west of the Mississippi yeah, Central Library. Yes, um, yeah, it's it's honestly huge. It is huge, uh, very popular <clears throat> for you know Huntington Beach residents. We actually took pictures. Uh, at that park, remember when our daughter was very little? <laughs> no. I know. Yeah. So and and it's actually pretty convenient to get to. So it's just take, you take Golden West down, and so it's it's not like way out of the way. So like so I, this is a great spot to just again just to just enjoy nature and just have a nice little park. Yeah. And then also Huntington Beach has golf courses as well. So this yeah. is uh, like so this is one of them. So Huntington Beach, what's nice is that it offers a lot of different options right you have the beaches you have a like nice size park you have golf courses mm-hmm. and then also like you actually have uh what another nice thing is you have actually the like Huntington Harbor which is pretty cool and so the here you can have actually ha- homes that are right on right on the harbor mm-hmm. you can have and depending on where you are in Huntington Harbor you can actually have you know nice size yachts you know like it's not like these are just now there are some areas in Huntington Harbor that they're basically little lagoons. They're landlocked, you know, so you're not going to feed out into the ocean. But other parts, like, you know, you actually can. So that's where, and if this is an, if this is a, a like high appeal to you, you want to reach out to us so we can differentiate, okay, these properties are on the harbor that you can actually have, you know, a 50-foot boat or whatever you want, or this is landlocked and you're going to need to, you know, again, you're not going to have, you know, you may have a dock, but it's not going to get you really anywhere. And then basically as far as, okay, so we're going passing, we're going a little bit farther south, passing by the Voltage of Wetlands. And so, and actually over here, we have Pacific City. This is actually a really cool shopping center that was built. It's right, again, right across PCH. It's basically right across from the ocean. R- amazing location. And it's kind of where, right, where all, like right next to where all the action is because Main Street is kind of where people think of, that you, you have. want to show what Main Street is, but with the oh, red yeah, line. Sure. So Main, Main Street here is right along there, and that's where you have a ton of retail stuff. Some like you have dining options, you have dessert options. Um, it's and also you have some shopping options. Actually, like two of the biggest surf shops in around really are basically Jack Surf Shop and Huntington Beach Surf and Sports. So you have like these are right here. Yeah, I mean, because right here as well is where the uh, U.S. Open of Surfing is every year. Um, Obviously, Huntington Beach is Surf City, USA. And um, I'm not a surfer, but I do know a lot of surfers because I used to work for the company that owned Surfer Magazine, which I don't believe exists anymore. But anyways, what people love about Huntington Beach, what surfers love about Huntington Beach, it supposedly has a really, really good break. So that's part of the reason why it is called Surf City USA and why it is so popular among surfers. Yeah. And also, I, like speaking of that, so this is – so Main Street basically ends at PCH. However, it kind of sort of extends if you think about it mm-hmm. because you actually, like, run into this pier right here. So yeah. it's a nice size pier. There used to be Ruby's Diner there. Yeah. Not now, there anymore. Now they just have a – they still have that iconic building with the red roof, but I don't know what they're doing with it. Yes. I, at some point, they're going to figure this thing out. So, like, yeah. So, like, I, I'm not sure what they're doing with the pier, but um, at some point, like, you know, they're going to develop some sort of dining establishment there is my understanding. Yeah. But you have, like, gift shops and stuff. So this is actually a pretty good-sized pier. So it's really cool. Yeah. And this is, you know, you have volleyball courts here. You have surfing taking place right over here. So you have a lot of stuff happening mm-hmm. right here. And, and Duke's is actually a great restaurant. It's What's nice is that it's one of the few buildings that are actually on the western side of the Pacific Coast Highway. Because, again, along Pacific Coast Highway, to the east, you have all your development. Mm-hmm. To the west, you pretty much have almost nothing. There's yeah. very few buildings. Yeah, and- so that, that's one thing that differentiates Huntington Beach from Newport Beach is that you don't really have – beachfront per se because the pacific coast highway is in between the beach and most of the properties yes exactly and and there's actually some really cool houses that are 
right across PCH that have fantastic views. Mm -hmm. So they're de facto beachfront almost in a way because their views are just absolute panoramic views. There's nothing obstructing them from the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're not right on the sand of themselves. Yeah. And then, and again, I, and I love this part of Huntington Beach here. This this downtown area, mm -hmm. it's super cute. You have, you know, the and and and, and land is at a minimum. At, 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 there's very little land per property because they're building more vertically. So you're having yeah. three, three and a half story homes basically, and they're mm -hmm. and like, so their footprint's kind of small, but yeah. they're building up. And so you still have like four thousand, five thousand square foot homes. Yeah. They're just on a relatively small footprint. Yeah. But it's almost like a brownstone in a way. Yeah, there's a, a very, very similar vibe to that for sure. Yeah, and you don't really have a yard because your yard is the beach basically. Yes, exactly. And and again, it's just really cool, and it's just really, it's very conveniently located. And then you know when you're talking about like you know Main Street here, like there's actually good. There, it's pretty much this portion here is basically blocked off. Mm -hmm. So it used to be where you could drive your car through there, which in retrospect sounds kind of crazy because you know it's it would just be so there would be so many people on foot here. This is yeah, a because, very touristy area, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it's very touristy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is so. If you don't like tourists, avoid <laughs> avoid this place at all costs. This is so touristy here. It's yeah. it's nuts. Like this area here, yeah, crazy. Like it's just backed up. Yeah, really fun to go to, but it it's is. just backed up. It, it and tour and tourists is also a lot of locals as well. People will go just for fun for the day. Yeah, totally. And then so you have restaurants here. So so they basically set their streets are blocked off now. And you're just dining right on the street, so it's kind of like a, it's very kind of cafe as kind of European kind of vibe to it. So you're kind of just right out there in the open in a mm -hmm. lot of these restaurants here. Yeah. And uh, and of course they do have a uh, Baskin Robbins, yeah. which is our <laughs> a favorite of our children. And so um, that is yeah along Main Street. But um, but yeah, the, but getting back to these homes in downtown. Just, I, I mean, really cool. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's really, really cool. And you're right next to where all the action is. So it's, it's the walkability is very high here. Not, and again, a lot of Orange County does not have good walkability. Yeah. But this area does. Yeah, like you can, if you lived in that specific spot, you could definitely just walk down to Main Street whenever you wanted just for fun and, you know, just enjoy the, the beach. Yes. And, and one of the like main schools here, so Huntington Beach High School is right here. Again, another highly ranked school. They were like back in the day a, a big rival of Newport Harbor High School, which is where I hail from. And but you know over time more high schools developed, you know you know grew. So now Huntington Beach and I would say Edison High School are more the rivals, whereas Newport Harbor and Corona Mar High School are, are those rivals. And then um, and then along here, if you're looking for a little bit more space, uh, this is actually over here. This this is kind of where you get a bit more of of that here. So you have more houses that you know like more proper houses, a little bit more. Not like huge swaths of land, but you might have three car garages and that kind of thing. So you have a, just a bit more space surrounded by this uh, golf course. So what's interesting about Huntington Beach too is that obviously you have, uh, given it's a beach city, you have some of the beach esque, you know, like like so you have the the, the multi residential units. So if you're an investor and you're looking for like you know multiple units, you actually can get a decent amount of that along the coast. But more specifically, when you're kind of hitting Slater and, and Warner this area you can also find a lot of like fourplexes and that kind of thing so if you're looking for again something to park your money that's going to get you some rental income you, you there's actually a decent amount of those options out here Huntington Beach is super interesting because you can you have harbor homes here you know like so you have like homes on the harbor they could be town homes or or or, or houses themselves and then, of course, those come at you know a premium because you're your waterfront. Mm -hmm. And then you also have you know you have your kind of brownstone stone esque homes, although they are detached, so they're not exactly brown, you know they're not townhomes per se. But that's along along the the downtown area here, right? So that's downtown area. You have a little bit more space here for like you know a more proper, I guess, what people think of a normal single family residence. And then again, along here too, actually, you have lots of again, you have lots of houses, just you know, lots of houses here. And again, Huntington Beach just has so much to offer. Again, it's like a little bit of everything. And what I love about Huntington Beach is just, it's okay. It's got Surf City USA. 
It's got lots of, you know, just outdoor recreational activities, tons of it. Yeah. And then on top of that, you got, you know, you have schools. Another cool thing about Huntington Beach is that, okay, so it's not, you know, affordable using this in quotation marks because Orange County, obviously, everyone knows cost of living in Orange County is high. But if you're looking at the, the actual prices of Huntington Beach, um, for a beach city, it actually is not as high as you may think it is. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of amazing. It's actually way, way less on average than, let's say, Newport Beach, which is right next door to it. So yeah. Newport and Laguna. You want to show where that is? Yeah, so Newport, so, so Newport yeah, Beach so. is right here. So it's right next yeah, door so to it, right? Yeah, so that's the neighbor to Huntington. Yes, so it's right next door to, to Huntington Beach. Way more expensive as far as mm-hmm. their home, their average home price, and yeah. then and then similarly, uh, Laguna almost Beach three times, right? Yeah, almost, yeah, yeah. And Laguna Beach also similarly extremely expensive. These yeah. are like crazy expensive. Not that Huntington Beach doesn't have expensive homes, yeah, but it's it, but there just is the average is much lower. Yeah, it's just it's just they ha- just have much more options. I mean, like yeah. you know, they have lots of condos. Lots of townhomes, lots of homes, but the, and the homes vary dramatically. Mm-hmm. Like you have homes right now that are in that like low one million range, mm-hmm. like you know in that in that low range, which again for Orange County standards, pretty average. And yeah. you know, when you think about Beach City, that's like kind of shocking. Mm-hmm. But then obviously, of course, you have your you know eight figure plus homes as well. It's just kind of you have a bit of everything here. Yeah, and and Sean's sister lives in Huntington Beach and um, one of my best friends lives in Huntington Beach and one of the things they really like about it is it does have a a community feel to it, I would say. Um, That's one of the reasons uh, one of my best friends continues to live there despite the the cost of living. So (laughs) she just loves, because she grew up there, she just loves how much of a community it is. Um, Yeah, and she loves the schools that are there. Um, Yeah, Yeah, they even have like the parades on 4th of July. Yeah. So they have, you know, it's just, it's a really cool area. I mean, again, Huntington Beach, one of those, again, it's really good value for where, for again, being a beach city. Being mm-hmm. close to LA, if that's where you need to be, yeah, has tons of retail going on here. It even has a Costco, which is obviously huge in my book. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so you have a lot, and again, very accessible. I mean, you have yeah. again 405 freeway, tons of big, you know, surface streets. Again, mm-hmm. four, no, let me say like six, eight lane roads. Like Beach yeah. Boulevard is technically a highway. It's Highway 39. Yeah. So it's you know it, it's and again ton, yeah, just tons of different options. Huntington Beach is just fantastic. It's just it's just a nice, well-rounded city, especially for a coastal for, for a coastal community. Yeah, and one in the the one so that's the Pacific Coast Highway. It obviously runs along the coast, and a lot of people who live in Huntington they will just use that maybe instead of the 405, and maybe it'll take you know 10 minutes longer to go either into LA County or into maybe Irvine where they work. But it's just it it's just so much nicer of a drive in the morning that they don't really care. So it's just, it is, it is fun to drive down PCH and just drink in the ocean really while you're in Huntington Beach and all of the the cities along Orange County that has um, Pacific Coast Highway go through it. Yeah. And also a nice thing about Huntington Beach too, is that uh, like, unlike a lot of Orange County, which gets a lot of flack for being, having no nightlife, Huntington Beach being a coastal community with, you know, uh, you know, with all that that comes with it, there's a lot of like night you know like options to do stuff in the evening yeah for sure so one so and again long long beach boulevard obviously you know it's got retail stuff it's got shopping it's got dining but also it's got a hospital here too so Mm -hmm. this is if and unfortunately you need to go to the hospital about something um you can go to Huntington beach hospital emergency room and urgent care Mm -hmm. and also what's interesting is that this whole Beach Boulevard Medical Pavilion, mm-hmm. this is where a lot of Newport Beach doctors, that let's say Hogue Hospital, it's like, I would say the dominant yeah, hospital. Yeah, so you want to show where Hogue is. Yeah, so if we're looking at Hogue Hospital, which is, again, not far away from here. Um, yeah, probably uh, about, see. what is it, 15 minutes down the PCH? Yeah, right around there. Yeah, so a lot of doctors, they, they will have an office in Huntington as well. So a lot of That's Hogue right. doctors, they're in the Hogue network, they'll have an office in Huntington. There it is. Right there. Oh, there it is, yeah. They'll have an office in Hogue, and then they'll have an office in Huntington, and then they'll all have a Hogue office. Um, and a lot of uh, doctors, you know, one one comment that I've uh, heard several people say is that um, Huntington Beach, it does 
let's say that you don't like the Newport vibe, right? Like some people, some people just don't, they don't like it. And I have found that some people from the East Coast maybe really don't like Newport that much, but they really like Huntington. I would say Huntington can have more of an East Coast vibe. So there actually are a decent amount of doctors that work at Hogue Hospital that live in Huntington Beach. Yes, so in it, fact, our, yeah. our uh, like actually, obstetrician, you know, yeah. Like he actually, he lives in, in Huntington Beach. He, he's like, he's huge in Hogue. Yeah. And then he has his medical office in, in Huntington Beach. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, that's, that's very common. Um, and actually, I would say that not just uh, back east, obviously up north too, like LA, like mm-hmm. I think that that a lot of people actually, you know, really appreciate what Huntington Beach has to offer. And yeah, especially because Newport, it, it can maybe have a little snooty vibe, I would say. So it can t- turn people off in that. Some people, right? Some people just, you know, tell that to Sean and Hill. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it, there there are detractors of Newport, right? And I would say any any detractor would just turn to Huntington because it, it's, it's very, very different from Newport Beach. Totally different Yeah, it's different weird. Like, vibe. they're right next door to each other, but yeah. very different vibes. For sure. For sure. And, it, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's our video. And if you're thinking, wow, Sean, I'm ready to go. I want to move out there now. And I totally get that. That's why you got to reach out because I will make sure that me and my team, we find that perfect property for you. So what you want to do is you want to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.